Today we're going to have a look at a pen that was lent to me by Joe's. He lived in India for a bit and he lent me this pen. Was that nauseating? Sorry! <laughs> anyway, um, this is an interesting pen. It's made by the uh, Bimraj and Company, a pen company, and it is the Oliver F27 model. It has some interesting features, I found, like a number six Schmidt nib. Uh, so I, I do think this, this deserves a review. I'm going to cover the parts of the pen. I'll do a writing sample. I'll tell you what I like about it and what I don't like about it. Let's get started. Okay, so here we go with the Bimraj and Company Oliver F27. Interesting pen, made in India, acrylic body, number six Schmidt nib and takes standard international cartridges. I did find one website that said it's discontinued, so I don't know how easy it will be to obtain this, but I do think the pen has some interesting things going for it. So let's first cover the parts of the pen. Finial has the same material as the cap and barrel, which I do think is nice. You have this sort of chrome colored ring around it. And then we have the clip, Oliver F27. Um, it's not the world's greatest engraving. Uh, I, I will point out, it, it, it seems almost like there's feathering in the engraving, so to speak. You see that in the R there. Um, a little center band, which is actually not attached to the cap, but is the on the barrel. Barrel tapers down and has more chrome colored, sort of chrome colored end cap there. The cap, I thought this was a screw off cap. It actually pulls off, snap cap. And, um, well, here you have it. That ring is definitely fat. There's some step down to the section. What I do really like is that the section is at least partially the same material as the barrel and cap. That does look nice. A little chrome ring there with the lip that probably keeps the cap in place and then you have the number six Schmidt nib. Um, I was just thinking have I ever seen a number six Schmidt nib? Usually I see the number fives. I think so. I think the Bennu pens use those as well. Some of them at least. So simple. It does say iridium point. It's a simple nib. It's a simple fine nib but it, it does do the job. Uh, one feature that I really liked and that you that may not be immediately obvious because there's a darker ink in it But the feed is actually clear plastic. So that is kind of cool because you can really see the uh, ink inside it uh, As I said a cartridge converter I, I'm guessing but in this case it came with this cartridge in it I don't know what brand it is. I don't know what ink it is, but it is a black ink It's just a simple black cartridge and it, it works uh, rather well Okay, this clip Pretty nice, has some good spring to it, and if you want to, you can post this pen very securely, and you have a pretty large pen. Unposted, I find it a, a comfortable size as well. So, there is that, and just because you may want to see that, this is the pen right next to a Lamy Safari, so that may give you a bit of an indication, oops, of the pen's, there we go, of the pen's size. Having said all of that, you buy a pen for one reason, and that is to write, so let us write. What do we have here? We have the... Uh, I just had it uncapped for a bit. Usually it picks up the Bim Raj and Company um, Oliver F27 with a fine nib and the ink, as I said, I don't know, it's something in a cartridge. Don't forget, the camera microphone always makes these nibs sound very scratchy. Uh, that's just because it, I guess it picks up that frequency or something. Um, in any case, it's actually a pretty pleasant nib, I found. it's I found it on the wetter side, uh, which is nice. Often I find Schmidt nibs a bit dry. Um, and yes, it's fine, so that definitely is feedback, but it, it really isn't that terrible. I, I, I kind of liked it. Um, if we do fast writing, folks... You see there is an occasional skip that may be uh, just because of the finer nib, um, but and, and not a a gusher, but I do find it on the on the wetter side of things. So let's have a look at this. As I said, that is I think fairly wet. Line variation. It is a steel nib. Always very careful when you do this. 
you can squeeze out a bit of line variation. Then there is the issue of reverse writing. You can turn this from a fine into an extra fine. You do see it starts to run a little dry, but you can get away with a couple of words for sure. Okay, and that is the end of the writing sample. Let's see what I like about it and what I not like about it. Okay, so what do I like and what do I not like about the Bimraj and company Oliver F27? There's a couple of things I really like. I think the material is pretty, nice acrylic. I like that it has a number six nib and I really like the clear feed. That's just a weird thing, but I just really like clear feeds. I just think it's cool that you can sort of see the ink. And one thing that's very nice if you, if you have this, if you have a cartridge or a converter and you squeeze a drop of ink sort of onto it like this, because of the capillary action, typically that puts ink out that way onto the paper, right? When you hold it against paper. But if you put a drop of ink on there, the capillary action sucks it in the other way, which is a good way to prime a feed. Um, but the nice thing with a clear feed is that you can really see the drop of ink slipping under the section, and, oh, sorry, under the uh, feed. It's just really cool. It's a weird thing. Maybe it's nerdy. I don't know. In any case, I like that. Number six nib. That's cool. It's a simple Schmidt nib. Nothing wrong with that. Because it's number six, you could swap that out for other number six nibs, which are pretty widely available. If I look weird, that's because I'm struggling to keep a, a sneeze in check, um, but it may happen. So there is that, I like that. Um, and it's it's pretty pleasant to, to, to write with, and I, I just think it's, it's nice. Uh, these pens also went for about $30 I found online. I did find a website that said that they are discontinued. So as I said before, I don't know how easy it would be to find one of these, but $30 for this with a number six nib, I don't think is too terrible. There's a couple of things I don't like so much. One of them is this big, slightly bulbous uh, ring. I, I don't find that very pleasant to, to hold, and you do actually feel that in your fingers. Another thing with uh, largely acrylic pens is that people often want to know whether you can eye drop or it. Well, there is a bit of metal right there in the section, but there's also this metal end cap, and I, I have the feeling that it it's probably acrylic all the way through, but I do think this actually is that the barrel is open on the uh, on the bottom, so to speak, so the ink may leak out at that point. Having said that, um, yeah, a simple unassuming pen and thirty dollars. It's kind of hard to go wrong with with something like this. The, the the craftsmanship I actually find is pretty good. There are no obviously large gaps or anything. The tolerances seem to be okay. Yeah, I always wonder if there is no cap lip here in the acrylic, and it is a snap cap that at some point may crack. Um, but I have no reason to believe it, it would. It hasn't on this model, but that is something. Maybe I, I would not mind seeing some sort of metal protection at the bottom of the cap there. The bottom line, $30. It's a simple pen, and it has a nice big nib. It writes well, so what, what more could you ask for? I hope that was useful, and um, I'm glad to see you later. Bye-bye. Bye! -bye. Bye.